Hey guys, Dozer here bringing you a new video. Today I wanted to talk about where I see the CC metagame going now that Uprising is just about to release and I wanted to get a bit of a theory crafting discussion going out there um, trying to say what I think the best heroes are going to be, what counters those, what rogue options might be good, and then kind of trying to see where things are going to go from here. So be sure to let me know what you think about what my thoughts are in the comments below. I'd love to see what you think about the upcoming metagame. But from my perspective, with Chain and Starvo and Living Legend, the field's a lot more open. We've got some new characters like Dromai, Fi, and Icelander, and we have to worry a lot more about um, some of the new things that are entering the meta, countering some of the old things, while figuring out which decks were around that were powerful are going to stay powerful. Right off the bat, Prism, I think is gonna to look to be a top tier option. Prism can beat any hero in the game if she gets a little lucky. She can beat Reinar, she can beat Vizarai, Katsu, and the list goes on and on. Even Briar, you know, they're unfavored matchups against some of these aggro decks, but against heroes like Oldham, Lexi, um, you know, Kano, Prism's very favored. And so if you're looking at the spread of the matchups that are left, you know, Prism can win against all these heroes, especially if she has the right build. Without Starvo in the meta, Prism can free up her deck space to be away from necessarily full pure auras and can have a bit more aggression to raise some of these aggro decks or a bit more defensive utility to stave them off. I think Prism is definitely going to be one of the dominant heroes, mainly because you're playing a weighted game. Why is that? Well, the decks that threaten Prism here are Briar, like we said, um, we've got Katsu, we've got Reinar, and we've got Viserai. And we can assume Phi will be as well. Haven't done a ton of testing on that front yet, but as a ninja that can play very aggressively, Prism will probably struggle to deal with Phi. So, with that being said, you know, if these are the types of heroes that tend to beat Prism very reliably, then what beats those heroes, right? If you are trying to counter the thing that counters the popular deck of Prism, let's say, well, what counters these heroes? Well, very cleanly, we see that Oldheim does very well into all these decks. Ice Lexi does very well into all these decks. Icelander, I think, is going to do amazingly into all these decks because she is almost equally as controlling as Oldheim, but even more disruptive. Just like how Kano can get in past their Arcane Barrier, take advantage of their red heavy hands, and burn them to a crisp before they can even touch him. Moving beyond that, I think that Dorinthia is also a very good answer to a lot of these aggressive decks, because not only can she block well with not only her armor and her cards, but if you don't block the Dorinthia and you struggle to, you know, stave off her ability to build counters, she can outvalue a whole bunch of decks, especially now that she has Glistening Steel Blade. However, you know, I'm not really as big on Dash being a counter to the meta game. Um, she's definitely in that borderline tier of like very relevant to maybe not relevant in CC. So we can definitely have Dash. Um, teetering on that line, but the rest of the heroes, Azalea, Levia, um, and I think Dromai might be able to do well somewhere along the way, but I'm thinking that the the biggest problem is that uh, Briar, Katsu, Reinar, Viserai, and Fi all will have a difficult time into ice heroes as well as wizards and decks that can go very aggressive and race back with good armor. Um, and maybe Bravo is on that line as well, right? He's disruptive, he's a guardian. Um, but you look at some of the new heroes like Dromai. Dromai is able to build a good board state, but she struggles into decks that can really push her down, especially if they can pop her Phantasms. You know, with some of the new things we've seen, such as the Ghostly Touch and things like that, Dromai might have a better chance into some of these guardian and uh, Phantasm breaking heavy heroes, such as Reinar, etc. But at least for right now, I think that the dragons that she got are a little too slow, are a little too um, low impact when they hit the board for Dromai to reliably be competing in the metagame because playing Dromai into Prism is a bad idea. Dromai has to deal with the Heralds getting their on hit effects for free, such as Erudition, killing basically any dragon. Um, you also have to worry about the Prism player building all these auras that you can only kill one of per turn. and Unless you have a really big board state with um, Chromai, Dromai herself can't actually do much to clear the auras. So what you'll find a lot of the time is that Prism can just throw out a lot of damage at Dromai. Dromai really struggles to deal anything back and to clear the board state as well. 
Um, and uh, Prism just is very good into Dromai, I found, I found so far. So if, if Dromai really struggles to beat Prism, and Azalea really struggles to beat Prism, Levia, in my experience, really struggles to beat Prism, and then Bolton also can struggle to beat Prism while also not doing amazingly into the other heroes out there, then I really do think you come down to a metagame where it's dictated by Prism, how good your matchup is into Prism, and um, what the metagame breakdown looks like. For instance, if Oldheim, Briar, Prism is the triangle of Prism beats Oldheim, Oldheim beats Briar, Briar beats Prism, then you might have another triangle meta. But at the same time, uh, because Oldheim's matchup is so bad into Prism, you might see more Lexi pop up because Lexi's matchup into Prism is much better than Oldheim or Icelanders even, or Kano, etc. Okay, but then you have to worry about like, okay, well, if Lexi faces off against maybe Viserai or Oldheim or a whole bunch of these characters, maybe Lexi gets punished, especially if Icelander or uh, Oldheim come in to prey on some of those those decks because those are the most controlly um, decks out there. Um, you really get into this really interesting overlapping dynamic of, okay, which heroes are able to hang, which ones aren't. And at least as far as I'm able to tell at this moment, Prism seems to have the best overall matchup spread. She can beat any of these heroes. She can beat Reinar. She can beat Viserai. She can beat Katsu, Briar, everybody on that list. She does so well in the Oldheim, Lexi, Wizards, and the Warriors, um, the Guardians, all that. In Dash, maybe there's a Dash list that can be aggressive and threaten Prism as well. But, um, you know, I haven't really seen a whole lot of Dash floating around, so it'll be very interesting to see what happens on that front. But that's just my read. We have not even gotten really a day past the uh, Uprising world premiere. And I think it might be a little preemptive to call it right now. But I do feel very confident about this. And I do think that as the metagame develops over time, maybe some of these characters move around a little bit. Like maybe Fi is not really that threatening for Prism. Or maybe Dromai actually ends up being a really good counter to some of these aggressive decks. Who knows? Um, it remains to be seen. But... I did want to throw that out there and see what you guys thought as well. So please, again, uh, in the comments down below, I'd love to read what your take on the metagame would be. And it'd be really easy if you follow me on Twitter as well, because um, I do post things from time to time about things like, you know, funny things about Prism or about deck lists, uh, such as this Icelander deck that I put together the other day. So if you're looking for um, some, uh, some cool content there, you can find some fun posts there. And you can post your own Prism tier lists using the link in the description below to be able to load in that data into this one so we can see what the community ranks things as right here. So I'm excited to see what you all think the meta is going to look like to see where we're going to be going. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.